this reading resonates with you, please stick around. I would love to have you. And if not, please feel free to keep scrolling. But come back and visit next time. This, this deck right here is work with your light oracle cards. And our angels, our guides, to give a reading that is in the highest and best good for you. What is going on? Because we have the first of the month coming up. We just went through a major energetic shift through eclipse season. This holiday brought up a lot of different things for many of us. Okay, so we have right here, unbelievable, and I think a lot of us can relate to this. What is triggering you? There are many things that are coming up for all of us. This is such a collective message. What is triggering you? Mirror, what is triggering you? And as light workers, we are constantly being triggered because in order to get to a point where you can help others, you need to have experiences for yourself in order to help others. Think of those things that are triggering you. Think of those things that you have to work through. And I think a lot of what happens is we always feel that there is this point in life where you have to have it all figured out and that's just not the case it is forever changing forever learning and forever growing and the ones who are constantly growing are the ones who are going to have the most prosperous life the next one that we have here I'm absolutely going to read this to you and the divine meaning and it correlates with this card of what's triggering you you need to reflect and that is this card right here and that is Anna grandmother of Jesus the light laying foundations divine plan so what is triggering and what is the divine plan? And I absolutely love this message right now because it teaches us that we all have a part to play in the divine plan. It doesn't have to be this grandiose, significant, major, you know, I'm going to save the world. And honestly, I know that I have not really touched upon what happened to me today, but I myself needed to hear this because I left myself in the situation and I was like, how, how can I help this situation? I felt so helpless, okay, with this situation that happened. I felt so absolutely helpless. And I left myself saying that we do not deserve this planet. And I felt so small and insignificant. And I did the best that I could in the situation. And if you've ever been in that type of situation, you may resonate with this where you felt that it was affecting you in such um, an overwhelming way because you simply had no control over it and you wanted to help but it was much bigger than you and so this card is basically saying that one's per one particular person's part is not worthier than another one person's part may be to mother their children another's may be to gather women in a circle each month month no part is better or worse each of us have our divine path we are all here if you if you're not bringing harm and you are trying your absolute best that is your part and it's important that we remember that the seed of light that we incarnate to share is reminding us to surrender our part of the plan so to work your light and activate your light hold this into your heart and say beloved Anna thank you for laying the foundations for the divine plan may the seeds of light within me be revealed and may I surrender my part of the divine plan so if you're feeling some type of struggle if you're feeling that that if you're feeling this stuck feeling and you don't know what to do because you feel as if the day-to-day -day is insignificant and you're always like, there's got to be more. There has to be more purpose. What is my purpose? 
Find out what's triggering you. Let's heal that. Look deep inside what is triggering you. So we're finding out what is triggering us so that we can do the divine work that we need to do. Nobody's part is insignificant. I always say that no job is too small. It all matters. Just like in acting and making films or if you're in theatrics or any type of art and creativeness, to make a film, you need wardrobe, you need hair, you need set design, you need light, you need a gaffer, you need all of these experts and creative people that come together. Everybody has a purpose because if, without that, you're just a standalone person. You are just standing there reading lines and there's no visuals, there's no effects, there's no post-production. So we, the same applies to any position that you're in, any job that you're in. So if you are feeling that you don't have a purpose and that the things that you're doing aren't good enough and they're not significant enough, it is not true. You are on your own divine path. We are having a journey. If, as long as you are trying to expand your knowledge and you are doing the best that you possibly can, that is what matters. And this what is going to trigger you is these experiences that we have over time through our own projections. We are hard on ourselves. And in a situation where somebody is not being nice to you or, you know, be saying things that are bringing you down that are negative, that is because they feel negative inside and it's projecting. Because if you feel good about yourself and you feel that, you know, you have a purpose in life, you're going to be positive and uplift the ones around you. And those are the people that you need to have in your life. So people in situations that can trigger our mirrors and reflect back to us what we believe are true about life, the universe and ourselves. Mirrors painting to shadow and our light. Mirrors revealing the parts of us that are yet to be accepted and witnessed and loved. This, guard, this card is guiding you to look closely at what experiences or people are currently triggering you and what they could be mirroring back to you. This card is telling you to take a look around your situation, around your surroundings, around your work environment, your relationship. What is triggering you? What is preventing you from your journey, from finding your purpose and doing your light work? That is what you need to look inside, deeply inside. And they really honestly complement each other so well. So... I really hope that this reading has brought a little bit of insight. If you want to know more, please follow me. I would absolutely love that. And also, go to my site, Eccentricity Studio, and we can connect, and I can give you a personal, customized reading. I hope that you have a blessed week. Love and light sending you so much healing energy during these very difficult times and knowing that we are all getting very much so triggered. These are all coming up for us and we are just trying to find our divine path and you are going to find it. You are capable. You are loved. So many amazing, wonderful things. Just keep at it.